Hey everyone. So today I'm going to discuss with you the solution of this problem. So what is the problem? So in one of the competitive exam, CSIR net exam, I think in 2019 or 2020, the question was find the rank of this matrix. Now about the rank, I have already discussed and you can see the link in the description. So what's the need of this lecture? Now see, finding rank is not that difficult. Once you see that earlier lecture, you will realize you have to simply do the row operations and you have to simply reduce this to the row echelon form or the Gauss Jordan form, whichever the form you like. Okay. So now once you see, oh, this is one, this is one. What is the obvious thing you will do? You will do R2 minus R1. So this becomes zero and this will become one, 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 R2 minus R1. Then you do R3 minus R1. So this also becomes zero. This will be one. This will be three minus one is two, two, two. Then you do R4 minus R1, R5 minus R1. So all this entries will be zero. But this will be non-zero. Then again, you will do R3 minus R2, R4 minus R2 and R5 minus R2. Okay. So, and again, then you have to make this entry zero, this entry zero. So you have to do this around seven, eight operations, which is a fine in exam, but in competitive exam, you have to think little bit smartly. You cannot afford to waste time. Okay. So if you observe this matrix, this has a nice pattern. One, one, two, two. 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. So you have to do row operations, no doubt, but then you have to do smartly. Now, instead of going from top to bottom, you go from bottom to top. So what I'm saying, you first observe, see here, only the first entries are same. The rest of the entries are different. Whereas here in the last two, all the entries are same except the last one. So if you do this operation at one shot, you will get four zeros. Whereas here we'll get only one zero and we know that like in the matrices or like in calculation, like say zero is always a good number. Okay. Not in exam, but yeah, in calculations. Okay. So now what is the smart thing I will do is instead of doing R2 minus R1, I will do R5 minus R4. So when I do R5 minus R4, what is this? One minus one is zero. This is zero. This is zero. This is zero. And five minus four is one. So ultimately, my last row becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now you do R4 minus R3. 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 3, 4 minus 3, 4 minus 3. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So here you will have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And now I think you should understand the part pattern and you can directly see that you will get 5 non-zero rows. Okay, and then you should say that since the number of non-zero rows are 5, Therefore, the rank is 5. Okay. If you can't see this, you can look at here. What is this? Again, 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2. And here, 1, 1, 1. So, when I do R3 minus R2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And here, if I do R2 minus R1, I will get 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, you can see that only in 4 operations. Actually, not even 4. After doing 2 operations, you can realize this is the pattern you are getting. So, like within 10 seconds, you can say the rank is 5. Whereas if you do R2 minus R1, R3 minus R1 in that way, it will take minimum two or two minutes. Whereas here you can see you get the answer in 10 seconds. So therefore, this is the smart work one has to do while giving such exams. Once seeing a question, don't directly start with the operations. Just see, is, is there any pattern? Then decide which operations you should do, whether you should go from bottom to top or top to bottom. Okay, so rank for this matrix is 5. So I hope you understood this. If you have any other problem in which you are finding difficulty in finding the rank, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.